Step 10. Installing the back enclosure. Installing the back base rails. These parts will be in the package labeled back enclosure. So let's get that package opened up. Now, as we pointed out before, different buildings and different design loads take different sized parts, but they all go together the same way. For example, a 40 foot wide structure uses a 2 inch by 3 inch back base rail, not a 2 inch by 2 inch back base rail like the one we're building here. To make the base rails for the back enclosure on this 20 foot wide building, we'll need three BE-T, that stands for back enclosure T-shaped enclosure brackets, and two lengths of two inch by two inch tube that are 29 and a half inches long, and two that are 46 and a quarter inches long. The installers in this video made reference marks on the concrete that are five foot on center to make sure the BE-T brackets are in the proper position. Many of our buildings will have back enclosures and verticals that are six foot on center. Get these all connected using four frame screws for each joint. Use the sealant like you did on the eave side base rails before placing it on the concrete between the end of the 2 inch by 3 inch base rails to create the base of the end enclosure. Use a BK20 or flat angle bracket on each end to affix this to the end upright on the 2 inch by 3 inch base rails. Do this on each end. Now place an anchor like you did before when you built the side base rails. There's a hole in the BE-T where a concrete expansion anchor should go. Please note, don't tighten the anchors up as a bit of flexibility might be needed when you insert your vertical uprights onto the verticals of the T-shaped brackets. Installing the back verticals. The back verticals in this building are 2 inches by 2 inches tubes, and there are three of them. The middle one is 125 and a half inches long, and the other two are 110 three quarter inches long. Attach a flat bracket at the top, like you see being done here. Note the flat brackets should go to the inside of the building. Now put them on the pins sticking up out of the T-shaped enclosure brackets. Then take your level and make sure they are plumb, which is important because you'll want the horizontal girts we're going to put in later to all fit. Slide the tube up to touch the rafter, or in the case of the center one, to touch the peak. Use the frame screws to attach the flat bracket to the frame up on top. Now attach the joint at the T-shaped enclosure brackets with your frame screws. Now go back and tighten up your concrete expansion anchors.